Styles can help save time when formatting a dissertation. You will likely want certain pieces of text throughout your document to have the same formatting. For example, all chapter titles should be bold with a specified font and size. Styles define the appearance of text elements throughout your document and can be saved in a template to be used later. Let's begin by applying styles to some of the text in our document. Make sure the home ribbon at the top of the screen is selected and locate the styles group. For chapter one and appendix titles or headings like dedication and acknowledgements, we will use the heading one style. Highlight the chapter one text and select heading one in our styles group. For our first main heading text, highlight it and click on the more button in the styles group to show more styles. From here, select heading two. For our first subheading, we will use heading three. And for our sub subheading, we will use the heading four style. We can also add styles to non headers, such as quotes. Let's highlight this quote and select more and quote. Finally, we can add our styles to our body text by selecting normal. As you've probably noticed, our styles currently do not follow the Rackham formatting guidelines. Fortunately, Word allows us to modify styles to fit our needs. Let's modify the Heading 1 style together. Locate Heading 1 in your Styles group and right-click on it. Select Modify from the menu and a dialog box will appear. If you wish, you may change the style name, but I will keep mine as Heading 1 and jump right into formatting. I will begin by changing the font to Times New Roman. Font size to 12 point. I will bold my text and make sure that the color is set to black. I will set my text to be centered and to have my lines single spaced. If we click on the format button at the bottom left, we will reveal more formatting options. I will start by selecting paragraph and another dialog box will appear. With the Line and Page Breaks tab selected, I want to check the box that says Page Break before. Checking this will ensure that there is a page break before any chapter or other text that has the Heading 1 style applied to it. I will now select the Indents and Spacing tab, and under Spacing Before, type in 72 point, which is equivalent to 1 inch. We can now click the OK button. There's one last thing we must do in formatting. So click on the Format button and select Font. With the Font tab selected, we want to locate a box that says Small Caps and make sure that it is not checked. We can click OK and click OK again. Sometimes Word will add text that says Chapter 1 in front of our actual text. If that happens, just delete the extra text that Word has added and then reformat if needed. You can modify headers 1, 2, and 3, or any other styles, by using the same steps we've just outlined for heading 1.